Hi everyone, my name is Miss Connolly here to talk to you about some math um, during the time that we're out of school. If you have a topic you want me to cover, ConnollyMathAtHome at gmail.com. You all know the story. I was making um, videos for my fifth grade class and wanted to help as many students as possible. So here I am working on the standards from first through fifth grade and learning a lot. Um, today we're going to talk about fractions on a number line. So when we represent fractions on a number line, this is taught in Massachusetts in grade three, and then it's extended in grade four, and then we use it for solving in grade five as well. So it's really important that we have a solid understanding of what it means to make, um, to put our fractions on a number line. So I have an area model here, a nice big rectangle. I'm gonna be showing the fractions there as well. So let's talk about one half first. So when we think about the number line, um, we have zero to one. So the distance on this number line is one whole, zero to one. Okay, so let's think about it as one mile. I'm Miss Connolly, I'm walking one mile. So we're gonna be showing distance here, okay? When we're thinking about one half of the area model, we would split it right down the middle and shade in, I'm gonna be shading quite lightly today because it's such a big area model, and shade in one half, okay? So if I was saying that I'm gonna walk one mile, I, um, but I've only gone half way, I've only gone half of that mile, where would that fall on the number line? So when I come up here, I'm gonna look, and what I'm thinking about when I'm plotting one half on the number line is I'm thinking about making two equal parts because halves are two equal parts. That's the same thing that I did. Did I do that correctly here? It's about half. I'm trying the best I can to make equal pieces here from the side. But when we talk about halves, we talk about two equal pieces. So in the area model, I made two equal pieces in the, on the number line model, I'm also making two equal pieces. So here's my first piece, and here's my second piece, okay? So from here to here is one half of the mile, and from here to here is the other half of the mile. So curious question, what do we label when the entire area model is shaded in? when both halves are shaded in. Interesting, so we know the denominator is two. When the numerator is one, it's because we shaded in one half, we took one out of two equal pieces, but now we shaded in the whole thing, so that represents two equal pieces out of, two equal pieces out of the two equal pieces, it's the whole thing. Do you see the whole thing shaded in? So when we're labeling our number line, one whole, is the same as two halves. So we might write two halves right underneath the one to show that it's the same amount. So if I was walking and I walked one half of the mile, because I'm showing distance on the number line here. If I went one half of the mile and then I walked the other half of the mile, that would have been two halves. So one whole is the same as two halves. And, and I want you to start thinking about the numerator and the denominator when we get to a whole, what do you notice? Lots of things going on in this lesson, but there's so much to notice about fractions. So, what just happened? I did the number line, two equal pieces, because I was talking about halves, equal piece one, equal piece two. Does that mean that I did two lines? No, and that's where sometimes we get confused, that we're talking about the pieces being equal. Okay, so I did two equal pieces. I had to make two pieces, not two ticks, we call them, on the number line. Okay, so that's what it looks like with one half. Really important to note that when we have the whole thing shaded in, it's two halves, and when we have gone the whole mile, one whole mile, it's two halves, okay? So let's think about a different um, fraction to represent on the number line. And this time, we'll do a couple different ones. We'll do thirds. Now parents, you might be wondering how come there's all of these pictures with fractions? Why do we have a number line? All of that stuff. But this understanding that we're building in the early grades is really important for the operations with fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. 
All the visual representations are so important when we get to fifth grade. So these are important. So make sure you're having your child do them. Um, the homework assignments that say, show your representation, please. All right, so let's talk about thirds. So if I was making three equal pieces on the area model, it might look like this. And remember, uh, boys and girls, do the best that you can. As long as you're trying to make them equal, as long as you know what thirds is three, then we're happy. It is very difficult to draw perfectly equal pieces. So, Ms. Conley's walking a mile, but this time she's gonna stop at each third of a mile, okay? So, I made this the same length as the number line to help me split this into thirds, because the number line can be a little bit trickier, to make equal pieces. So you see I have one equal piece. This would be my first third of the mile. Then I'm gonna, I take a little water break. Then I'm gonna do another third of the mile. So what is one third plus one third? If I go this third and then another third, I have gone two out of three equal parts. Do you see on the area model two out of three equal parts? And then if I do the whole mile, how many thirds is that? I hope you were thinking about what we wrote last time. We wrote two halves and we were talking about the whole when it was halves. This time, I want to put this in a different color. Hold on. So that's one whole. If I walk the whole mile, I've walked three thirds of a mile. Whoop. So I'm wondering if you're noticing something about the numerator and denominator when we're talking about a whole, because this is gonna come up in our comparing fractions video and it's really important. So I hope you're noticing something. So again, let's think about what happened on the number line. I was talking about thirds. So how many equal parts do I make? Three. One, two, three. See how they're as equal as I could get them? Then I'm labeling my first third, the distance from here to here is one third. The distance from zero to here is two thirds, and the distance from zero to a whole is three thirds. Okay, so each tick I label with the correct thirds. Okay, so I think you might be starting to get the hang of it. So let's look at one more, and then we'll talk about what we notice about a whole. Then we're gonna go above a whole. So, this time, let's talk about six. So, half. I'm doing six this way in the area model, so it can help me on my number line. Obviously, this is not the only way to split something into sixths. So, the best that you can, And you saw me double check my number of parts because I want to make sure that I have six equal parts. And I do a double check. So how do we label these? We list six equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice I'm counting the parts. So each part is going to stand for one sixth. So one sixth plus another six. If I walk another six of a mile, I'm at two six. If I walk another sixth of the mile, I'm at three six. Another six, I'm at four six. Another, I'm at five six. And another, how much is a whole? Six six. So I knew how many equal parts I had to divide my number line into. I um, labeled each part one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and I know the whole thing is six six. So let's talk about what did you notice when the whole thing is shaded in, or if I have walked one whole mile. What happened with the numerator and the denominator? I'm going to show you what you um, have seen so far. So you saw two halves, you saw three thirds, and you saw six. And all of these, oh yeah, I'm putting the equal sign right there because they're the same as the number one. All of those are the same as the number one. So what do you notice is happening 
with the numerator and denominator every time you have one whole. I want a noticing. Turn and talk to your partner. Just kidding. Anyways, um, I hope that you're noticing that when the numerator and denominator are the same, two halves, same numerator, same denominator, three thirds, same numerator, same denominator, six sixths, same numerator, same denominator, that's when your fraction is equivalent to one whole. Okay? So, a lot of exploration here. So we have the number line, we split it into equal parts. We discovered that when you have the same numerator and denominator, you have one whole. We talked about making equal parts. That doesn't mean necessarily drawing six ticks. It means that we want to make sure we have six equal parts if we're talking about six, three equal parts if we're talking about thirds, two equal parts if we're talking about halves. And we want to make sure that they're labeled and it looks as close to equal as possible. Okay? I'm going to keep this video um, as a fraction line within one whole, and then I'm going to do another quick video about what happens when we have more than a whole. You should be making a prediction about the numerator and the denominator. Okay? Bye.